best products to sell on Amazon as of September, mid-September 2024. This is what we are going to talk about in today's video. If you do not know me, my name is Chris Mangunza. I've been selling on Amazon for a little while and I'm raising daily videos right here on YouTube to help you for free. So make sure to subscribe and do all that YouTube stuff. But now that this is said, what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to go over a few products that you can sell right now on Amazon and make a lot of money. It's more going to be what you want to look for in products um, to, to make sure that you reach some success right now, that you make some money right now on Amazon, all right? I'm not going to go into the specifics of telling you the exact product why we are actually, but I'm not going to tell you about how to manufacture our margins or to find them profitably. This is something that you will need to figure out yourself. If you want more help, you can, there's a link in the description. Book a one hour call with me and we'll build a plan for you to crush this Q4, all right? So, as I said, the best products to sell on Amazon as of September 2024. The, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over two types of products, really, it's going to be types of products. And the first type is going to be products on which you have a competitive advantage. And all on, all, I know it's a, little bit, it's a little bit wide, but we're going to go more specifically into what types of products these are. When I talk about competitive advantage, in this, in, in this instance, I'm talking about products that you can sell that other people cannot sell. And this is why it's actually a good thing to actually observe and to actually look at what Amazon sellers are actually talking about, whether it is on Twitter or whatever. And I know I talk a lot of shit about Amazon Twitter. I hate this place. However, it's a great place to observe, to see what's going on in the community and to see what people are talking about and to take advantage of that. And you can actually take advantage of that. And oh, what you can do is just watch every single one of my videos because every single time something like this happens on Amazon, I'm actually making a video about it, right? So we are going to look quickly at what's going on. So you know that Puma has been restricted. And when I talk about products that other people cannot sell, it's brands that, was, that were restricted that you can still sell, right? So Puma has been restricted. Look into Puma, look at what's selling, sell the products if you can still sell them because there's not going to be so much like an increase of sellers in that brand because it's restricted. Same thing for New Balance, same thing for Nike for new sellers and especially, I know that a lot of people talk a lot of shit about people that sell that on Twitter but it's extremely profitable. Nike sucks. The only thing is that you do not know to make them profitable. I'm sorry for you. Uh, so New Balance, Puma, uh, there's a few beauty brands, however, the beauty brands, I would <sighs> be super careful with the beauty brands because a lot of things are constantly changing with the beauty category, not, beauty, not the beauty brands, I'm sorry, the beauty category. A lot of things are changing, so I would be a little bit careful, but anything that, like, all the brands that I said, Puma, Nike, Under Armour, Nike socks, all that stuff, not Under Armour, I'm sorry, New Balance, look into that on shoes, uh, I think Oka, I'm not sure. No, I don't, I don't think Oka, but stuff like that happened. Look into those brands. Great opportunity to make money. Less competition because it's restricted for a lot of sellers. I think it was the same for Jordan. It was the same for Converse. But Converse reopened for some sellers, not for everybody. Try to figure out which brands to look at. And then what you want to do is go into the, into the Keeper Product Finder. Do a search for these brands and try to figure out how to, what product sells and what products you can actually find profitably. Okay, whenever these products have sales these brands have sales. And if you have the target list, it's a great way. The color list is one of my products. More information in the video, the, like there's in the description, you can see about it. If you want that, uh, if you want to look into the target list, it can help you a lot figure out the sales cycle and figure out when to buy those products, right? So that's going to be the first type of products that you want to look for. And whenever you have a competitive advantage on something, do not be stressed. Yes, you need to take some risk sometimes. Go deep, okay? Of course, risk what you can risk, okay? But the more you are willing to lose, the more money you can potentially make, right? It's not, it's not, absolutely not a gambling advice, okay? I'm just talking about business. Do not go and gamble your money on some dumb shit. This is not what I'm talking about. You need to take calculated risk with your business. This is what I'm talking about, okay? So go deep in that. Whenever there's that opportunity, that when, and remember, those opportunities are going to be windows of time because it may not be available forever. All right, those, bra those brands might reopen in the future for, for the sellers or it might close for everybody. You have a window of opportunity where you need to go ham, go crazy and make a lot of money. All right, first type of products. 
The second type of products that you want to look for are going to be, and especially, especially for Q4, because Q4 is coming. Q4 starts next month, beginning of October. The second type of product that you want to look for, where you can make a ton of money, are going to be seasonal products. And Q4 is full of seasonal opportunities. The first one is going to be Halloween. Pay attention to what you source because some stuff are, is going to have a lot of returns. Plus look at costume and all that stuff. But there's a ton of stuff that you can source for Halloween. The thing that you need to remember is that those things that you're going to find out this year, you're going to be able to sell them next year more than likely, right? So Halloween, a lot of things around Halloween that you're going to be able to make a ton of money on, right? Then there's going to be um, like the holidays, all right? Christmas, all that stuff. St. Nicholas if you're in Canada. And so there are in Europe, at least in Belgium, not in France. Um, but like there's a lot of opportunities, seasonal opportunities for these. Okay, Same thing. You can find a lot of them with the Keepa product finder. And if you want to dive more into the strategies on how to actually do that, book a one-hour call. We'll talk about that. But starting next week, I don't have time this week until Saturday. I don't have time. But starting next week, I will have opportunities to actually help you with that. So if you want to book a call, feel free to do it. Um, so yeah, seasonal opportunities, there's going to be plenty of seasonal opportunities and also a lot of opportunities. The truth is, when I'm talking about the other opportunities that are not, that are not really seasonal, with Black Friday and all those sales, there's going to be a ton of opportunities. You need to choose the right one because a lot of people will have their eyes on them, right? So it's the same thing as the seasonal opportunities, but you need to keep your eyes open for great opportunities. And whenever you find one, jump on one. Just know that if it's your first Black Friday, you might make a lot of mistakes. Okay, so yes, you need to go deep, go deep in the products that you know, do not necessarily go deep in new products that you do not know anything about, because you're going to make some mistakes, a lot of people are going to jump on them, you're going to lose a lot of money, right? So that's the products that you want to look for right now for Amazon, hopefully it was helpful. Look for those brands that I told uh, that I told you about. KPF is your best friend. Same thing for the seasonal opportunities. KPF is your best friend, you're going to find a ton of products just to learn how to read seasonality, you're going to make a killing. All right, so uh, that's it for today's video. Hopefully it was helpful. Once again, you need more help, just jump on a call, you know. I ha I've helped a ton of people for free. These videos are, are enough if you want to make a ton of money with Q4. This is all you need to know. If you want to dig deeper, if you want to be spoon-fed more, spoon more information, book a call uh, and this is what we'll do. All right, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, let's go and make a lot of money. All right, I'll see you tomorrow for a new video, a new video every single day. Don't forget to subscribe to all that YouTube stuff. Thank you for watching.